Hey, hello. Uh, this tutorial is about how you can rig a tool to be equipped on a player before the actual tool was equipped. So when I equip the tool, it's here. And then when you unequip it, it's still on the player. Uh, so let me show you how to do that. So firstly, you have to grab a tool. And I have my tool over here. You can see I have my tool over here. And what you need to do is also make a model of your tool. So like this, a model. It'll make it exactly the same except one's a model, yeah, one, one is a tool, and one is a model. And put both of them in replicated storage because I prefer to have my tools in replicated storage. It's easier for me. We can access it way easier. So put it in replicated storage. And what we're now going to do is we're going, you, you're, you're going to add uh, two Motor 6D welds into, well, two, just depending, I have two parts, so I'm going to add two Mo Motor 6D parts for these two. If you have one part, you add one, it's simple as that, but I have two, so I'm going to add two. And you add it, you name it something, I have simply body attached, O2, be this is body attached, this is the number two version or something like that. Scroll down and do click on part one, click on body attach. And if you have another one, do the same, but do it for the other part. And do the exact same for the model. And uh, I did O3, so I don't get them confused. And inside of each Moto 6D weld, we're going to have this. So what this does is when it, uh, when the player joins uh yeah so basically when the player joins and the tool or mo and model is inside of the player these welds will connect to the player bo player's body parts i want them to connect to the torso so i have the parent torso which puts the welds inside of the torso then part one also to torso because I want it to be welded towards the tor torso and then I for just in case part one also set to uh, the, the actual tool so this is tool.body attach and then inside of the model make sure to have the name of the model here and then the body attach and cop just basically copy that for these other welds and that's it. Make sure if you have multiple parts inside, make sure to weld them, of course. And now inside of the tool, only inside of the tool, we're having we're going to add a transparency script. So basically what this does is when you equip the tool, the model turns transparent. You can't see it. That's how you kind of make the illusion that it's the tool. So once the, uh, we're going to set the tool script apparent, so the text is tool, and when the tool is equipped, we're going to search for the descendants of character that model. So inside of the player, we're going to search for if you have if you call this call this someone else something else, make sure this name matches with this name. So I have a dead model. I'm going to keep it my mod at model. It gets the descendants, and if the descendant is a union or a part. Uh, then if you that yeah if the descendant is a union or a part it will make it invisible and I have also this one so the these parts also turn invisible and then yeah yeah that's basically it and then when it's unequipped you have this it searches again for this and this and turns the transparency back to zero so it's it's visible again but as you can see I kept these parts at transparency one I did that because those parts are this these parts and I don't want them to be visible these are the parts that I want to keep invisible so I made them I, I kept them transparent. If you don't have parts like the, these that stand out, you can ignore these parts of code that keep them invisible. You can just ignore them. If you do have parts like these, then keep it so it stays invisible. And then we're going to go in Startup Player 
in Start a Character Scripts. And here we're going to create a local script. And it's basically going to clone the, these two and put them inside of the player. So as you can see, it searches for the local player. And then it clones the tool and it clones the model. And then it puts the tool inside of the backpack and the model inside of the character. Make sure only the tool is inside of the backpack. A model needs to be inside of the character, not backpack. Otherwise, it bugs out. But backpack is for tools and the model goes into the character. And that's basically it. If you want to have custom animations, I have a, another video. I'll link it down in the description of this video to show you how to have custom walking animations idle and tools but as you can see so you join it's on here as you can see i can open this model here these parts are not transparent and i equip them and they turn transparent and the tool gets added inside of the player and the same thing unequip it and they go transparent again uh so yeah that's basically it it's super simple uh, if you have any questions, if you have any issues, just join the Discord. Also, link in the description and comment section, probably, and ask for help. It, that simple as that. Pro I will, I will most likely help, or someone else will help. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.